All right, so it's time for another roll bar tip of the day. Today we're looking at RQL. This is a feature that allows you to more closely inspect your roll bar data. So within the, the web app here, we do have a separate menu for RQL. And this is basically a SQL-like query language that you can use to look at the different fields that have been ingested as a part of your, your roll bar events and uh, begin to establish trends over that, look at aggregating around certain fields, whatever you'd like to do with that. It's an open-ended query language. So for beginners, we do have a link to the documentation on that menu, uh, and there you can learn about the syntax, uh, what operators are available, and then we also have the schema documented here, learning what data you can actually query. And uh, the short answer is, most of the, the things that you ingest at any point are available. All of the event data, all of the occurrence data is available in that table, including the custom data that you may have added onto the occurrence payload. So um, there's, there's a lot that you can comb through there depending on what type of analysis you'd like to do. And I had two sample queries here. We'll just briefly look at these. Uh, the first one is looking at the people data. And this is showing me for a given person on a given environment, what was their maximum session time here and what was the average? So we're seeing those in milliseconds here. Um, so that can help me understand what folks are doing in the application, maybe uh, how, how they're experiencing load times and things of that nature. And then the second query here, this is looking at the different revisions that I've introduced. So the code versions uh, that I've added, the changes I've made, and we see when that was introduced from the minimum timestamp, as well as the last time that we saw that being used. So this coming from the code version in the item data. And this is just a small sample of what you can do with RQL. Uh, content sharing probably is best done at this point by an outside system. For some of the queries that I use, I just have a, a personal GitHub repo here. So uh, that's a good place for me to save those and make sure that I don't lose them. And in addition to the UI support, this is also an API supported uh, function here. So the, the RQL API is documented on our API Explorer there. So you can also automate this process, um, reduce the amount of time you have to spend in the application looking at these menus.